Okay, so I want to make my first 2D game in two weeks. And since it is a 2D game, I thought it should be easy. I hope so. But we have a lot of problem. Problem one, game idea. So my idea is platform shooter. For someone who living under the rock and don't know everything happen to the world, platform shooter is basically you as a player can move and walk and jump around the platform and can also shoot and kill the terrible enemy and the enemy can also shoot and kill you. Okay. Then problem two. I'm actually quite stupid and dumb and bad at English and don't know how to create a 2D game at all. So step one, we need a tutorial. And I found this practice tutorial in YouTube, which you know is quite helpful and I can just go ahead and follow along. I mean, I copy 90% from the tutorial. Yeah. Okay, step two, since design. Okay, so open the Gordon engine and create a new project and then make a platform shooter and create and boom, a beautiful scene. Then I create a character party 2D node and import all the player sprite to the game. And you know, actually, I'm not really sure what am I doing, but at least we have a moving player now, right? But the player is just standing there awkwardly and do nothing. So I make some flow to the player and then hit the play button to check our game. Nothing happened. Okay, now player movement. The reason why the player doesn't move at all just now is because we can't actually control the player at all. And this means, welcome to programming. So I attach a basic movement script to the player and then with just a few clicks, our player now should move properly. Oh, nice. But then, actually, we still face some problem. I may not be able to move, but honestly, I cannot jump at all. And this problem left me two days to solve. And I copy all my code and throw to ChatGPT and ask for a solution and copy the code and read the documentation and go to YouTube to find the solution. And finally, I actually can jump, but I'm just messing around. But at least it works. So we can move to the next part, word design. Word design is quite boring. Okay, this is our word. And I also measure the maximum distance from the top to the left to the right to the bottom of our camera with some complex mathematical calculation. So our camera now should now fly out 200,000 meter from our world when we move to the corner. And when I hit the play button, it should look good. Okay, nice. This is what I want. But the problem is, when I walk to the ending of our game, Nothing actually happened because I haven't designed any ending yet for the game. Then I also add some moving platform to the game to add more variation. But now someone like you might realize the player can't actually die yet. So I need to make a kill zone for the game. The logic behind it is when the player is moving around the platform and drop into the sea, I want the player to get the velocity to the buff and then immediately fall down the world. But like I mentioned just now, I don't know how to do it at all. So. For now, I'm just going to create a simple water and when the player drop inside, I'm just going to set a timer for one second and restart the game. Okay, hit the play button. What the f Okay, after some time solving, it just the C collide with each other. And after changing the collision marks, it should work properly. Please, 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 please. Okay. And then I realized the game now is way too boring. And then I create some coin to our level. But then I realized taking coin without sound effect is just a piece of sh**. So I play a sound effect when the player takes the coin and hit the play button. Okay. And now is the most time consuming part of my game. Some of you may already know this. This thing in my level, actually the thing I want to do in this thing is when the player come and hit the button, I want the player to eventually move upward. And when the player release the button, the player will start to drop. Simple idea, but you know, this thing take me three days to solve. I'm not actually sure how to do. And this is the final result. What have I created? But don't worry, this is what my mom has tell me. Arts. And I also make a simple background to my game which make my game do look a lot better. Okay, so now I think I have enough power to make the C just now. I create an animation player node and make the player to play the animation when the player falls to the C and play the game. Wait. What? At this time, I decided to make programming myself and after a lot of programming and play again, don't work. So the solution for this is smash my keyboard until all the code work and play again.
Then I smash my keyboard again until I get crazy. And finally, it somehow kind of work. At least you don't have to move. So, like a wise man mentioned, if there's a problem in programming you can solve, this means this is the problem in the future. So don't worry about it first. Okay, now enemy. Okay, I import the sprite and make some simple enemy to the game. And yeah, this is our dumb enemy. And he can't do anything at all. At least for now. And I also make a stop menu to the game. And in my personal opinion, it look trash. So for some of you might wondering why I don't design a little bit for the UI. And my answer for this is, I do try to design myself. But this is what it look like. <laughs> I think the default one is much more the better. Okay, finally. So if you guys remember, this game supposedly is platform shooter. Which now is platform without shooter. So bullet. I go to my favorite painting software which is Microsoft Paint and create a simple bullet for the game and import the bullet to the scene and the logic behind it is just simple. Every time the player shoot, I just spawn the bullet and then move to the direction where player facing. And yeah, let's play the game and try. Something is wrong. And then I started to realize how stupid am I in coding. Anyway, after programming for two nights without sleep, and finally, my bullet now is able to move. Our shooting mechanic now works just okay. And you might notice two issues here. The first issue, the bullet moves way too slow. Ah, simple problem. And when I am facing the left, the bullet actually shoot to the right. And some of you may also notice one problem, which is the bullet is actually can follow my player position. When I move to the right, the bullet will also move to the right. Okay, so to solve these two problems, I come up with a genius idea, which is combine these two problems and become one problem. And this come up with a best solution. Increase the speed like crazy, then you won't actually notice the problem. Right, and after spending more time in doing crazy programming, I finally managed to fix the direction issue for the bullet. Then our shooting mechanic now finally work. At least you don't try this. Okay, next part. I followed this tutorial from freecodecamp.org and create a simple start menu for the game, which look a little bit similar. But I don't know, it's just a coincidence. Soon I realized, a shooting game without sound effect is a piece of shit. So I found the thing around me which can generate shooting like sound. And I found this. And after applying the sound effect, the game actually feels a lot more better. Then I draw a bullet also for the enemy, which look quite similar to the player bullet just now. You might think it's lazy, but I would like to say it is smart. But here is the problem, I don't actually know how to make the bullet work. So, I throw this problem to my best friend and stealing all the code, and... Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, 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 what? Fortunately, I didn't break my computer, and after changing the timer and the speed, the enemy now is not so unbeatable. Then I want to create a power to unlock the shooting mechanic of the game and put it above this thing. So it's time to start working in Godot Particle and make some serious animation. But I don't know why I can't actually get what I imagined at first. And also make my CPU nearly to explode. And this is the final version. So the last thing of the game is attack effect. So after go through more to Godot Particle system, this time it actually worked. Come on, just... Okay, and after adjust the speed, the effect now look quite good. And we are done. Thanks for break keys and this video from Freecode Cam and also this video from Dev Room. All of this tutorial make my game at least kind of work. Except a lot of weird function in my game. But yeah, you know, like a wise man used to say, art is good. And finally, you might notice after collecting the coin, where can I use the coin? And I would like to say, who knows?